When Ellen died, I lost everything. Until that dog arrived on my doorstep. A final gift for my wife. In that moment, I received some semblance of hope. An opportunity to grieve unalone. And your son took that from me. Oh God. Stole that from me. Killed that from me! People keep asking if I'm back. And I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Um, that was a clip from John Wick. It's my pleasure to be joined by the star of the film, Keanu Reeves. How are you, sir? I'm well, I'm well. Good morning. Good morning. I um, I had a great experience watching your film in a cinema with a crowd of people oh, cool. the other day. Um, and there's just so many things I want to ask you about the film, but I'd like to start, if that's okay, by asking you to describe John Wick to me. How, how do you describe him? Who is he? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, John <laughs> Wick uh, used to be an assassin uh, who is described in the picture not as the boogeyman, but as the man you would call to go after the boogeyman. So he's a kind of mythic guy, mm. his past. <laughs> um, when we find the character, his uh, wife is ill and eventually passes. Um, we come to learn that he's gone away from the dark life, the underworld, um, in order to have this relationship, to have, you know, um, mm. for love. Um, and so he's a, yeah, so he's a guy with a, with a past and um, who's just trying to, you know, live, live in the light. <laughs> but circumstances happen that uh, his dark side kind of literally becomes unearthed. Yeah. And, uh, um, and in a way, John Wick has, you know, this real world tone to it. And then there's this layer of the underworld, which is yeah. kind of very sartorial and has its own, you know, codes and ethics and rules, which is kind of um, mediated by the wonderful Ian McShane. Genius piece of casting. He's so fantastic. Brilliant piece of casting. Yeah. I almost cheered when he came up on the oh, screen. He's, he's so fantastic. <laughs> the tone <clears throat> of the film is perfect. Um, was that something that was on in the script? Was that immediate when you read the script? Um yeah, absolutely, and and really uh, heightened by the directors Chad Stahelski and David Leach. It's their first film, mm. um, but uh, I'm glad you like it. I mean, it was certainly what drew them to the material and drew me to the material, because um, there's a kind of humor in it as yeah. well, you know. So there's some cool action, uh, humor, and uh, emotion. Am I right in thinking that you took the script to to Chad and David? kind of in the back of your head hoping they'd go, we'd love to direct this. Is that, is that how it happened? Yeah, it was, uh, I, knew, I know Chad Stahelski. He was, um, I met him as a stuntman. Uh, he Matrix, doubled me yeah. in The Matrix, yeah. And uh, then I met David, because uh, they've been friends since they were like 17 uh, in the martial arts world before they got into stunts. Um, and uh, we kept in touch, and they've been doing second unit directing for the past, you know, decade. Yeah. Um, so it's their first film, but not really their first film. So I went to them. They have their own action design company, stunt company, called 8711. Um, so originally I was thinking, well, I send it to them in the, you know, like, would you guys do the action for this? But as you say, I was secretly hoping that they would respond to the material. <laughs> and they did. And they did. Yes. It feels like as well for you, um, I mean, the 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 stunt sequences are... They look immensely complicated, but they're beautiful and they're kind of, you feel like it's dancing almost. It's, oh, cool. They, um, you know, you kind of expect with that kind of, for it to be sharp and quick edits and it's mm. not, it's allowed to play out and allowed to happen. Um, that must be more work for you, was it? What was the preparation and um, the reality? Yes, that? it's inside baseball. <laughs> you know your game. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, to do longer takes. Um, uh and it is a dance. I mean, it's not only a dance in terms of the choreography, but also with the other stuntmen or other um, creatives that you're working with. Uh, and then the dance with the camera. Uh, so all of those pieces have to kind of come together. And, and when you do longer takes, um, yeah, it's, it's trickier. Yeah. You know, to keep that dance together, to hit the right spots, to have the timing. Um, but 
Yeah, it's cool. I mean, it's, I'm glad you like it. I mean, it's, it's fun when something that takes that effort that looks so simple and, you know, and hopefully that there was some grace to it and uh, aesthetic, you know. It is. To, to, to find... In violence. Yeah, exactly. To find <laughs> grace and... Movie violence. <laughs> to kind of find grace and beauty, though, within kind of that world is not always easy to achieve. And, mm. you know, that's, that's down to you, but also I think down to Chad and David and how they chose to film it and yeah. to colour it and edit it. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, we had a wonderful cinematographer, Jonathan Sella, and uh, um, an editor, Elizabeth. And um, But yeah, it, it does, the vision comes through them. And, uh, you know, I think with their stunt background and having shot so much action that they, for me, it was a great, to, you know, to, to try and have that ambition of longer takes and, and so they knew me, they know what I can do, can't do. Um, and they put me in situations to uh, hopefully, you know, do a good job. Didn't make it too easy for you, I hope. Absolutely. <laughs> insert swearing here, not. <laughs> That's because they know you so well, they know they can push you to your limits, possibly. Uh, yeah, God bless them. <laughs> no, you know, I, I like that stuff. I mean, I like, I like action and I like, I like dramatic action. You know, mm. I like the, you know, because action can help... You know, it's a it's a character piece, right? Mm. It's it's especially in this picture, it's about the will and you know what he's fighting against and fighting for and what's in his way mm. and you know all that fun stuff. And then we have this brilliant kind of world within the the hotel, the Continental, and I love those moments where, you know, he he kind of turns up where he kind of can't move his arm and he's dripping in blood and the kind of ding and the elevator music playing in the background <laughs> and stuff, and it's just. It, you know, there is a kind of graphic novel element to it as well, Absolutely. which is, yeah. is is kind of it. It gives you a kind of ah, yeah, we're we're, we're in. This is the you're in a movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, because it objectifies it. I mean, there's a little bit of a wink to it. You know, there's uh, um, if you want to see it that way, but mm. uh, definitely, you know, the lensing uh, has a graphic novel aspect to it. Um, you know, which are just, you know, different kinds of perspectives, mm. uh, not necessarily naturalistic. Mm. Um, uh, but that's, you know, I love acting. That's fun. Mm. I mean, I like those kinds of films, you know. Um, because yeah. you came into this after directing your first feature, mm -hmm. um, did you have to kind of like, I don't know, hold back from from <laughs> making your opinion? Bite my tongue? Yeah, basically. I wouldn't do it that way. <laughs> Well, if you want to do it that way, go ahead. But I would. Hmm, interesting choice. Someone Chad. send him back to his trailer. Right? Uh, absolutely not. No. Uh, um, you know, it was it was cool though. I mean, they they Chad and Dave did ask me a couple of times some things like, mm. "What what is this?" You know, an example would have been. I was like, so you guys should do a table read. And they were like, yeah. And they were like, well, what's a table read? And what do we do here? And I'm like, okay, so you get scripts and pencils and pads. You bring everyone together. You make a speech. You say hello to everyone. You welcome everyone to the table. And then you read the script. And you'll hear things. And, you're, and they're like, right. Um, I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit. but uh, a great image in my head. Yeah, of yeah. That they're like, okay. And, 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 and they, they were wonderful with the actors. And, and uh, you know, I mean, just with the cast that they got and, and just on the floor. Um, so I, I didn't have to. Uh, there were, you know, a couple of things in the post that I was like, you know, you should, you know, watch your film once in a while on the mm. big screen because when you're looking at it small and you're cutting you might see some other things it'll change the rhythm you know because we're making cinema <laughs> not a tv show and we're getting more of it i hear as well there's going to be more um you know hopefully you know people have some people have enjoyed the film mm. and the producers uh are interested in uh trying to do it again but not we don't want to do it again you know we want to if we can find the right story you know, and, and we've been working on that for the past uh, couple of months. Yeah. Do you think that you've got this amazing body of work that you've you've done over the years? Do you think this is a character you could have done 20 years ago? Or do you think it's kind of a combination of your experience, but also the, you know, the character's got this experience as well within him? Yeah, yeah. there's a little hard-boiled, older guy vibe, I guess, to it. Um I don't know, I think Constantine was kind of like that guy, a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a little Constantine in there. Um, but certainly, uh, the attempt at gravitas. Uh, 
I certainly didn't have um, back then. Mm. It's, um, I mean, we're, we're excited as well, you know, as film fans, what, what's next as well for you? You have a huge list of, of projects that, mm. that we're waiting for. What's the, um, is there a specific or particular project that you're excited for us film fans and Keanu fans to, to see next? Um, well, that's kind of you. Uh, you know, I got to work with Eli Roth on a picture called Knock Knock, Knock, Knock yeah. which is a uh, um, home invasion, psychological terror romp. <laughs> uh, which I heard was, there is some romping going on in it. There as well. is definitely yeah. some rom pom pom. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a father, an architect, a lone home for the weekend, working late through the rain. And late at night, there's a knock-knock, and it's two young girls who are dressed to go out. And, excuse me, sir, we're lost and help wet. Me. And help us. <laughs> Will you help us, kind sir? And I'm, yes, and I'm a good guy, and I say yes. <laughs> and then things start to turn. I can't wait for that one. Yeah. I can't wait. Well, you know, they kind of seduce me, and then I say yes again. And well, then in the morning... <laughs> The tables are turned. The tables are turned and the punishment begins. What what makes you say yes as an actor though to a project? What are you looking for? What are you what are you you know? Yeah, I, I start achieve? with the the story actually. Mm. You know, so what's the story? What's um and then the character? Uh, what's it all about? What mm. are we doing? Um, and finally, um, we wouldn't be doing our job if we didn't ask you about Bill and Ted. Bill and Ted. Is Bill and Ted, do people like Bill and oh Ted? Oh my God, come the, on, are you serious still? No, come on. Yes, yeah, seriously. No. Did yeah, they? come on. Really? Like from whatever I mean, I, as a child, we were 90s? just... 90s? I mean, you know, bodacious and all that stuff. Really? Is, is, I mean, it was quoted throughout school for me. It was my life. It was, you know, I was a girl as well, and I still <laughs> wanted to be, you know, in that film and part of that world. Really? So there's a whole cool. generation of people that are now spread in the world to the new generation. Trying to be excellent to each other. <laughs> right. And party on. Is it yeah. going to happen? Um, I mean, I've heard, I've heard Alex kind of, you know, well, talk about Well, I think it's cool it. that you like it. Thank you. Uh, um, yeah, we're trying. We're trying. The, uh, the writers wrote a script, um, which is really good. And uh, so now we're just trying to convince someone to, to give us money to make it. Yeah. I think you'll be fine after more people see this, which they're definitely going to. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Kenny, thank you so, so much for your time. All right, Love thank you. Lovely chat Cheers. to you. Thanks a lot.